The arbitrary properties feature in Tailwind recently has by far been my favorite feature when working on a recent project. And that is because I'd actually previously never needed to use the arbitrary properties feature. I've used a bunch of times the arbitrary values feature, but never the arbitrary properties feature. Now I've got a bit of sample markup here and we've all seen the arbitrary values feature. So for example, if we didn't want to use a Tailwind class name for a property, for example, P5 here, and we want to do give an arbitrary value, we just open up a set of square brackets and let's say 20 pixels in here. So this is the arbitrary values feature where we can see the generated class name and it gives a padding of 20 pixels, i.e. our arbitrary value. However, recently I've been working with a CMS and the use case has been that we need to style certain tags, but only if they're part of a column. So for example, if we have paragraph tags all throughout our page, and we don't want to apply padding to every single paragraph tag, but we want to apply the padding just to paragraph tags within a column. Now, these paragraph tags don't know that they're part of a column because they're coming back as part of a CMS. So these paragraph tags or these paragraph blocks don't know they're part of a column block. But what we can do is target all paragraph tags within a column block. So for example, I'm just gonna show you the web page that this markup produces now. So we can see here, we've got two paragraphs actually within this red border here. Let's assume this red border is a column and we have two paragraph tags within this column, but we also have two paragraph tags outside of the column. However, we only want to target the paragraph tags within a particular div, i.e. within a column. We don't want to apply styling to paragraph tags outside of the column. So how do we do this? Well, it's with the arbitrary properties. So if we head on back to our code here, what we can do is we can open up a set of square brackets followed by a CSS selector. So we need to prefix this with the ampersand. Then we can use an underscore for a space. Then we want to target any direct child paragraph tags within this div. So we can use the greater than selector followed by an underscore followed by P. So we want to target the paragraph tags, any direct child paragraph tags within this div. Then we can add our padding just for these tags. So for example, we can add a P5. Let's hover over this now. We can see this is going to be the generated class name. It looks a little bit weird, but we can see that we're going to target whenever we have this particular class name on this div, we're going to target any direct child paragraph tags. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look in the browser. And there we go. It's already refreshed in the background. We can see that the paragraph tags only have the padding applied when they're within this div tag and any paragraph tags outside of this div tag remain unaffected. Now we could go one step further here if we wanted to back in our code. Let's say for example, we only wanted to target paragraph tags when they're the first child. Well, we can use valid CSS selectors here and we can just go colon first child. Now, if we hit save and head on back to the browser, we can see that only the first paragraph was affected because it's the first child of this div. So we can use any valid CSS selector when using the arbitrary properties feature.